Please welcome to the stage from Night Attack, Justin and Brian! Oh shit. Oh shit! Guys, this is gonna make us famous on the internet! Hey beautiful people, how are you guys? My name is Brian Brushwood, this is my buddy Justin Robert Young, how are you? Hey. What's going on, fam? Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, qu uh, quick show of hands. How many of you guys have never heard of our podcast, never seen the podcast? You just came in to uh, uh, be entertained. Uh, uh, wonderful. I apologize. Uh, yeah. the, uh, in advance. The, uh, uh, so we're, uh, uh, we do a podcast, me and Justin. Uh, uh, I do magic, he talks politics, and of course, naturally, we do a comedy podcast. Uh, specifically, <laughs> today we're talking about the best of the worst of the internet, those early days of Web 1.0, when we all, uh, real quick, everybody, uh, uh, can we summon the sound that we all associate with this era, starting now? <laughs> exactly. That's it good. worked. <laughs> that doesn't work on the subway, I found out today. <laughs> you can't just yell at strangers and say, make the noise. <laughs> so here's something I've not told you. Okay. Before the show, this is an early experiment with us doing live versions of Night Attack uh, mm -hmm. for including people who are not already Night Attack fans. Yeah. Uh, By the way, apologies. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we got here, and you had to run off to go get a gizmo from the Apple store. Tom was like, I'll go with you. Yeah. And, then, and then I found myself alone in the venue before the show, and I realized, well, I know how this goes. I'm just going to sit here and spin myself up. I'm going to be like, oh, get ready for the show. Get ready for the show. And I was like, I don't want any of this. So I was like, I'm going to go <laughs> open up the app, type in bar, right? Walk down. There's a place called Britannia Bar just down the way. Yes. So I'm like, I'm just going to go. And where does Brian Brushwood go? to center himself to go to his happy place ah. before uh, at, at Brian an Brian likes to go. The natural uh, path of the brushwood <laughs> is uh, to go to a very quiet bar and uh, close himself off from the world, yep. sometimes uh, uh, sticking literal paper towels into his ears. <laughs> if, real, if real thing that happened, if, I'm ashamed to admit. If, <laughs> if, if, if the ranchero music is too loud. Uh, and play Hearthstone by yourself. That's correct. Okay. So I'm sitting at a bar playing Hearthstone by myself, <laughs> listening to my audio book, yeah. happy as a clam, looking down like 35 minutes, I can do this. Boop, 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 boop. And then I get a text from Tom saying, where are you? And I sheepishly admit, uh, uh, I say, fuck you, Dad, I don't have a problem, you have a problem. Uh, I was like, I went to, I went to a bar because I didn't want to run in circles at the venue beforehand. Yeah. And, and Tom says, Oh, I wish I'd known. I would have gone with you. Instead, <laughs> instead I went to an, uh, an Apple store. Uh, and then, and, and For the like, record, this took seven minutes. Like, we walked to the Apple store, like, around the corner. Fast. I walked in. I bought a thing. I walked back. So this is, in the time that you are telling to take the story, is longer than the actual amount of time that this took place in. So I'm sitting there, and uh, I get the message from Tom. I'm like, okay, don't worry. I'll come back, and we'll hang out <laughs> and, and all this stuff. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I was like, well, let me just finish this game of Hearthstone. And then uh, and, and, and I'm plugged in. And then finally, I finish the game, and then I, I, I beep it off, and I turn off. And then the guy next to me at the bar grabs my eye, and, I, and, I, and I'm like, oh, hi. And he, and he goes, I really like this. And then whips out the fucking lighter with my logo on it. <laughs> Yo, this is the most lit pride day ever. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, so I, and all of a sudden it's just like a, a flash because I was totally switched off and all yeah. of a sudden I realized there's a spotlight on me and I was like, oh, hi, huh? I was just uh, getting ready for the show. He's like, yeah, I know. I was sitting here and at first I didn't recognize you and then I figured out it's you and I thought to myself, oh, fuck, he's doing it. He's playing Hearthstone alone at the bar. <laughs> this, this is my new best friend, Lincoln. Where are you, Lincoln? There we go. This gentleman. Lincoln. Right you know this is going to be a new thing. The more we do these live shows, people are going to scout out. Eventually, I want to get booked for private events in which I will <laughs> promise to go to your bar. <laughs> Ignore everyone. Yes, and not and talk to anybody. <laughs> While everybody else is peeking around bushes, like, like he's doing it. He's, he's doing, doing it. it. Is that a druid? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, where do you want to begin? What do you say we go ahead and bring out our illustrious special guest? Do you guys want to hear from our special guest here today? <laughs> One person. No, I do not, sir. <laughs> yeah. It was going fine as it was. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and g- get out here first. You know him from Daily Tech News Show, from every other podcast on the internet that me and Brian don't do. It is Tom Merritt! Yeah. 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 Uh, and then uh, let's go ahead and get out here next. Uh, you will know him from something really, really rad really, really soon. Uh, <laughs> that might have been accidentally leaked by the fucking company doing the show. <laughs> How about this? From Weird Things, his name is Andrew Maine. And last but not least, from the Star Wars show, from We Have Concerns, let's go ahead and give him his proper introduction. It's Anthony Carboni! All right, are we sitting or are we all going to stand around? Let's sit, let's sit. Let's all sit together like a family. It is Sunday. Is this a a test? (laughs) whole thing starts with a riddle. Uh, <laughs> all right, hot damn. Uh, first, uh, first, first moment of the internet. Wait, the exact moment somebody explained to you the, to the internet. Uh, how, wait, wait, describe. Go. <laughs> I think I was probably, well, ugh, internet or just online connectivity. So, Where are we so going? I, because I'm, I'm uh, uh, for me, it's uh, in the 80s, child of the 70s, uh, uh, doing CompuServe, uh, in which case uh, you find out about chat rooms, you find yep. out about dating profiles. And so being uh, eight, you make a dating profile with Sure. Uh, 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 the fuck, friend. Uh, and, then, uh, uh, and, and, and then, so I had, and then I ran a BBS. So when somebody explained uh, the internet, I'm like, oh, it's a BBS. <gasps> it's the BBS. It's, it's all of the BBSs. One place that we go to. Uh, and, and that was in junior year of high school for me. What about you? It, it, it had to have been maybe, maybe around then because I remember taking, I had to take an internet class in high school. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had already known about the internet though, so I was like way ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like when you, it's like when you grow up in a bilingual household and they're like, you have to take Spanish one and you're like, ha ha. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, but I remember walking into internet class where I had to learn websites you and walk, HTML and walk all that. in with it with your sunglasses on. Yeah. You, you don't take them off. You just do this move. Just like, <laughs> and you're like, I got Hello, this. everybody. Let me tell you a little about a little place called Angel Fire, where all the <laughs> where all the cool anime JPEGs are. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it had to have been. The understanding that now all BBSs had formed into one, like some sort of Borg cube, probably came around then. Right on. And, and, gotcha. And this is uh, what, what, what age in your life? Probably about like 17, 16, 17. Yeah. Seems like we all have curious experiences right around then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, when did the internet become real for you? I, the weird thing for me was like I was 10 years old, and this is way back, and I was visiting my grandparents in like New Mexico or something, I was at a bookstore, Hmm. and I saw a book called How to Look Things Up Online. I'm like, what does online mean? And this was, (laughs) I mean, this was pre-World Wide Web, even BBSs, and so I'm like, I'm like, this is going to, and it was a book of just like, internet. Like you're uh, not like this is a fucking time traveler. Oh, this is this is this is early 1980s. This is early early 80s. And, and, and by the way, how to look things up online? They just printed out everything there they was did. No, online. No, I swear to God, that's what it was because it was it was all back through back then. This was the day when the internet was only like educational universities and like defense contractors. Yeah, they had the internet yellow pages. It was yeah. I saw, I saw this. I'm great. And then I'm like, ah, I got the book. Now what do I do? <laughs> you know, and then like you know we had like a, a cra- so you, you you grab the book, you go uh, out on the balcony, and you're like internet. No, yeah. I'm like I'm staring you at need my a computer for this shit. No, no, no I'm, I'm who's sta- got that kind of I know, money? I had, I'm staring at my Vic 20, going now what? You know, and like I mean the concept of like dial up was a couple years before ahead, and then just tearing a page out and shoving it in the disk waiting. drive. Yeah. Then so, it, then it was I had a friend who had a BBS. I took judo, and a guy in the class had a BBS. And I'm like, oh, what do I do? Dial in. And then, and then I knew what CompuServe was AOL. And then I, then I was like, oh, and that was cool. Yeah. Tom, tell us how you invented the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Tom was born of the internet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's the one who he's brought. The, he's the bane of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> We're all Batmaning around, and he's the yeah. bane that was born there. <laughs> <laughs> Your speed will be reduced severely. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nixon was president. Yeah. <laughs> 
No. Um, <laughs> What's funny is that brief flies of like, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I I knew about CompuServe as well, yeah. and I was very angry that my dad would not buy me the VIC-20 dial-up modem mm-hmm. with the little cradle. It's <laughs> bullshit, man. But the sound. Um, I remember it well. Ronald Reagan was president, uh, and my popular computing subscription had been converted to a Byte Magazine subscription. Oh my God, that's a real Did you write your congressman said. angrily? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, re- remember Computer Shopper? Remember Computer Shopper? To your Better Bit Business Bit, Bureau. You know? <laughs> yeah. I was very upset because I loved Popular Computing Magazine, yeah. but then Byte As Magazine, we all did, I right? Hate, I hated the, uh, I got the little postcard that said, we're sorry it's been sold, but we're converting the remainder of your subscription to Byte. I was very upset until Byte Magazine arrived. And I realized Byte Magazine was six times as thick <laughs> as Popular Computing yeah. Magazine. Which is yeah. how you know how good a magazine exactly. is. Yep. Yeah. At, at yeah, I'm glad 12. you brought this up. Because yeah. also, it was fucked up when Enter Magazine was folded into a small segment of 321 Contact Magazine. Oh Can my we talk God. about that for the rest of the day? Yeah, and Odyssey, too. Oh, oh, man. Excuse us. I don't know why you guys are here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Byte Magazine had an article, and it was about CompuServe, et cetera, et cetera. And in that article, it mentioned that there were also, if you were at a university or a research institution or in the military, you could get on this interconnected network. Yeah. And I was like, there's, a, there's more? Yeah. There's more out there that yeah. you can, like, what can you do out there? I just and imagine so, yeah. you and Andrew, like, on opposite sides of the world, <laughs> both trying to just fucking Matthew Broderick your way yeah. into, like, government computers. <laughs> in, into each other's hearts. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like... Singing somewhere out there. I right. really need... <laughs> As they fade between each other. Uh, we're like, just an Olin Mills portrait of one of them floating over the other's head. With a lack of a phone cradle modem. That would have happened. Could have happened. <laughs> uh, what about you? I think I was, I had to be in middle school uh, when we first got AOL. And that was, that was the... How the, many of you guys AOL was your first? You always yeah. remember your first. Yeah. Thank no. you for making noise, people who raised your hands. That's <laughs> How many remember your CompuServe number? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, All right, big dick Merritt, we get it. <laughs> I was banking. Who brought won. their punch cards? Because Tom did. <laughs> yeah. Who remembers their first randomly assigned IP address? Yeah. <laughs> so I got uh, I got AOL, and and of course the first thing that I wanted to use it for was uh, AIM, but I didn't know anybody. <laughs> on that also Lonely was on boy. the internet. So to you, when you saw like download AIM, like what is it? It lets you talk to friends. You're like, I can get friends? Yeah. <laughs> I was thrilled. That yeah, yeah. Like, this thing is going to solve all my problems. <laughs> so I made my my account Mr. Funk 2 <laughs> <laughs> That was you? <laughs> because Mr. Funk was taken. Sure. <laughs> And I decided I that like, I was. I like how the like the the lexicography of, of screen names had not been formed yet. Yeah. So it wasn't like you were Mr. Funk one or Mr. You were just like, well, I'm the second Mr. Funk. Hey, well, he yeah. I have to be zero two. Zero exactly. two. Yeah, because we know there's going to be over 100 Mr. <laughs> Funks. But it, and he was polite enough. No, if I call myself Mr. Funk one, even though Mr. Funk's taken, yeah. Yeah. he might have offense with that. Yeah. So he might not realize zero in binary is actually the first. <laughs> 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 now, <laughs> now, now it is. Yes, and. <laughs> what age were you when you became enlightened enough to not like wedgy people like Tom Merritt? <laughs> uh, so I decided I was going to make my friends online, <laughs> and so I looked up everybody else on AIM that had funk. In their screen name, <laughs> because of your mutual because it was for punk. A, a very clearly like all right, we'll be friends together. It's like a tag. Yeah, because we're all in the same family <laughs> of funk. Yeah. Instant message: Hello, funk my ass. Do you like funk? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm ten. I I I, I I I submitted requests and said, hey, we'll be the funk team. (laughs) Yes. I didn't get any responses. (laughs) And so began the harsh truth that the internet is the most crowded and lonely place in the world. I always thought about funk as bringing people together, so this is a very disappointing story. Uh, Well, you know, there we go. That was was my first first, uh, uh, brush with uh, the, the internet, and in AIM specifically. AIM was really the thing that brought me 
to the dance and kind yeah. of kept me there forever. All he right. says between his two internet friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just jump in. Uh, which happened first? Real life sexual experience or internet? Wait, wait, wait. What about what about you? Yeah. When did you know about the internet? Yeah. Is this connected? Oh no no no. Well yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> this is pre-internet, uh, or, or internet adjacent was all the bulletin boards, uh, because um, uh, I, I guess I, I went on bulletin boards and I got pissed off at how often uh, I would call and the lines were busy and yeah. you'd have to, you, you would have like, you know, your, your little black book of, you know, bullet boards that you'd be like, I guess they are all right, but you know, this is where the action's at, that one. Uh, and I realized, well, fuck it, I, I, I can run my own BBS, right? And so I did that for a little bit. Uh, and then at some point there, there was like, a pre-internet thing. There was one bulletin board system called Houston After Dark that was... Uh, <laughs> okay, I did not realize what I was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a similar thing. Go it's, on. Uh, uh, all <laughs> I knew is they had 24 lines at 9,600 baht. I was like, I will always be able to get into this. is my new space. I'm like, Mom, I need my own phone line so I can call in this BBS anytime I want and make myself available to sexual predators of all varieties. <laughs> Uh, uh, that was, um, uh, man, back in those days, I only had a 2400 baud modem, right? So, uh, so you know, you, 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 you're poking around, you're like, oh, uh, pornography, you say. And then, uh, uh, but because the images would come in so slow, right? Yeah. There, there was two varieties. There was the one that did, like, every other motherfucking line, and then every other other, other line, and then every other, other other line. But then but then there was one that was just, like, straight down, right? So there was one, you know, it was like, it's coming on down, coming on down. And I was just like, oh, that's a girl's face. Oh, damn. <laughs> What's under the face? Let, let me <laughs> what comes after the face? Let me unbuckle this belt. And then, they, you know, and there's down there like, oh my God, I'm seeing them titties. And it's just like, all right. And there's down there, they're like, like, oh my God, I think I'm seeing some downstairs parts. And then another, no, I'm seeing a woman shitting to the mouth of a man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the internet. <laughs> You made it. That 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 image, the most controversial haunted mansion painting. <laughs> There's always my way out. <laughs> no. There's no, always you. room for number two. <laughs> there was a, there was a similar there was a similar bulletin board in Orlando called Online Connections, yeah. which was the adult only chat bulletin board. So which, by the way, both of those are perfect Rorschach tests because yeah. to our uh, uh, young teenage middle school minds, I'm like, yeah, yeah Houston after dark, it's a party, right? Uh, my parents really should have known better than to... <laughs> no, but grown-ups didn't know shit about computers, dog. It was the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they didn't know a damn thing. They just thought I was getting interested in technical equipment and they were just like, this is great. He's learning so much. He knows so many technical things. Yeah, they just thought it was like a fancy lawnmower. Yeah. Like, it was just like a thing that I apparently you can do for a living, he's, I guess? Uh, he's printing stuff. He <laughs> must be writing things. What a wonderful boy we have. Oh, my son. <laughs> uh, I, so I remember smart. online he's connections was like that thing where it was like, I just heard that it was the one that like the grown ups went to. Yeah. And I was like, I, I must have been like uh, 11 or something like that. I was like, I got to get on this grown up shit. Yeah. This is where I'm going to go. And I was, you know, I was a, a, a latchkey kid, which is what we used to call just. A kid. kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's a name for kid. Yeah, Latchkey's um, like a physical PGP. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, Mary. <laughs> um, so I came home, and there was this whole process <laughs> where to get on online connections, they had to call your house, and you had to talk to one of the sysops <laughs> so they could prove that you were a grown-up, and you could do the grown-up things, whatever they were. Yeah. So I came home, and one day before uh, my, my mom came home from work, you would like fill out your your form, your membership form, and they would be like, well, we're gonna call you in like a two hour period. And I was like, okay, well, as long as they call me within the first like 90 minutes of this two hour period, we are golden. Uh -oh. And I'm getting on this adult ass BBS. Where finally I can be respected as a peer yeah. of other Where adults. Where people are going to talk about cool adult things, I'm sure, like Doctor Who and physics and like, <laughs> this is where the <laughs> real adult programs. Yeah, exactly. I'm what a 401k is. Uh, so F finally, the mature <laughs> topics that yes. they're promising yes. I can engage in. They're even labeled mature. I'm yeah. sure it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. So I get, you know, I'm watching the clock. My mom is my mom is a teacher, but she's te she teaches elementary school. So she gets home like an hour and a half later than I do, right? So I'm like watching and watching, and finally 
the phone rings, and I've got like 10 minutes before my mom gets home. And I pick up, and I'm deciding whether to do the adult, like the, the adult voice, like, hello, it's me, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Carboni. <laughs> I just got home from, like, Vincent Adultman from fucking BoJack Horseman. Yeah. Yes. Like, I just got home from doing a business, and before I have my martini, I want to go on a bulletin board system. <laughs> um, and I just decide, no, that's going to sound fake. I know that there, are, that there are adult men out there that have very high-pitched voices. Yeah. I'll just be one of them. I'm going to lean into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have to go through this whole thing where I have to talk about my job and this like, well, this woman's talking oh. to me about her family and like, because she runs the whole thing. And I'm whoa, just whoa, like, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. What backstory did you write for adult Carboni? Uh, yeah. You're like, oh no, I'm. I, it's a super mature job. I'm the host of a new show called the Star Wars Lord Show. Yeah, <laughs> there, was no, there was no Wars. video on the internet. We were downloading our shit pictures, our scat pictures, <laughs> line by line. Uh, so I'm like, I, I, I believe I made him a librarian. At the time, I really thought being a librarian would be super dope. Um, I still do. As one yeah. does. Yeah, I still am just like, man. How many librarians do we have? Do we have librarians? Audience? Good, fuck them. So we all fail. <laughs> uh, so I think he was a librarian, and I was just kind of talking like, it was just like, yeah, no. And I, I, it was all just really simple questions, right? Uh, and I, I hear the garage door start to open. <sighs> like as we're wrapping up. And I'm just like, okay, well, uh, uh, my wife is home from work. <laughs> and she's huh? like, oh, okay, yeah, well, we're, we're just about wrapped up. And if, you, if, you, if your wife needs to, wants a membership and she's coming in now, you can put her on the phone. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> she's not interested in these types of things. <laughs> I've got to go now, very grown up. <laughs> so I hang up and I, you have to immediately after you hang up, you have to log on again just to be like, yeah, it's me. Uh, so I log on, and I start talking, and it's the same friendly woman that I was speaking to on the phone, mm -hmm. only now she wants to tell me what she's wearing. <gasps> and like, and like what she's doing in her chair, and like, whoa, and I'm whoa. just, I'm 10 years old, and I'm just like, why are you telling me this? I don't need to know any of this. <laughs> Seems very personal, <laughs> this is Yeah, does your husband know you're talking to me this yeah. way? How many of you guys are feeling that exact same anxiety of whether or not to laugh at a sexual predator? <laughs> <laughs> to, her, a up to her credit, she didn't know. That's no, true. That's true. she just she wanted that. She was talking to Vincent Adultman, librarian. I know. She just she just really wanted that Dewey Decimal system. Yeah. And I was just I was just like, man, like I just thought they had decimal. like. Sorry. Just thought they had like cooler stuff to download. I don't know if well, I want to be here. I'm not ready. <laughs> uh. Andrew, do you have any uh, any any early internet stories of embarrassment? I mean, I, I think the first ten years of the internet was embarrassing for me. <laughs> but, well, yeah. it's funny, you, you, Brian. You mentioned like you're talking about watching porn like go line by line. Do you remember real early days before they had like graphic interpreters and stuff? Okay, <laughs> let's go back. So, first of all, this is a fucking show about the internet. So far, none of my stories have been about the internet. They've been about BBSs. Let's go back before I even discovered BBSs, when my dad got a 286 computer, and, uh, and I was a very curious mind, uh, just go, do, 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 do. What's this preloaded folder? Oh, those are ASCII tits. <laughs> ASCII. <laughs> ASCII porn, okay? You have to take, you know, the alphabet and recreate <laughs> a naked woman. And so... I couldn't figure out, because I remember seeing stuff that was like Playboy magazine. Like I'd see it, and then I'd be at my uncle's house, and I'd say, oh, I know her. And, you know, from the ASCII, and I'm thinking like, is there some guy coding this line by line going, that Oriola really looks like an M and a zero. You know? <laughs> and then, so, but that was, you know, you have just seen this, right? It was like the yeah. World War II era pinup art of the internet. It was like yeah. caveman. Yeah, it was like, you think about it now, like how in, stupid this was, but. In fact, was, actually, the, the folder that I found, it was uh, D colon ba uh, 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 backslash PU for pinups. And what's funny <laughs> is I never know what PU was. I always thought like, ooh, stinky, this is naughty <laughs> stuff. PU. <laughs> and then, like, like years later, my dad, I guess in an attempt to reach out and connect with his uh, burgeoning adolescent son, says, you ever, uh, you ever run across those pinups on the computer? As, as, and, and meet just that fucking cold, you feel the pity of your stomach. And you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so uh, it, yes, they were pinups. Yeah. Uh, so we, yeah. did Wait, you have an experience with this? <sighs> Which part? The ASCII porn? The M and the zero. Can the M and the no, zero? I, I, yeah, I mean, that was 
I forgot what the rest of that was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great storyteller here, I know. Um, yeah, I just remember that was like, I, I, I'm trying to remember what it was I mentioned because there was a couple embarrassing things I brought up, but that was, oh, oh, yeah, okay. So, um, I don't know, I'm like, 10, 11 years old, and I discover like, hey, there's like naked pictures of women on BBSs and stuff, but it's ASCII porn. And I'm like, you know, like that anxiety of having to dial up, afraid your mom's gonna interrupt that or whatever. And so, you know, I I decided I really needed a, a printer for my homework. Oh, and so <laughs> I did this. I did the same thing. I definitely printed it out and I squirreled it away and I hit yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, so I'm using. <laughs> I'm using a dot matrix printer. So I went from the anxiety of what happens if mom, and I gotta tell you, like that's I, hot. Yeah, and that's that's literally at that phase. That's all it was. Is I'm like that's pretty, you know. Yeah. And so I went from the anxiety of like you know afraid that like you know mom's gonna pick up the phone and hear the and no, you know that yeah. sounds like porn. <laughs> do, do you know that, like, wait, like some like somebody from a Western Union telegraph in a cowboy exactly. movie. Yeah. Your mother other picks up and is like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so, Areola, wait a minute. <laughs> so I went from so brunette. I'm, wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> so Andrew. I know. Well, that was I was my fear. So I'm like, I'll just print this out, and I won't have to dial up for this. And then I went it's through the your, perfect cry. It, yeah, it was like it was like one of those movies, like where somebody's in the office trying to print the files before they come in there, and so I'm waiting for my ASCII <laughs> porn to print out in the printer, and I'm just hoping my mom's not gonna come in here like, what are you printing? You, you know, and so. <laughs> Uh, I ended up like, heard her coming, I freaked out, reptiles. I had like half of a sheet. Of, <laughs> and, and so I put that under my mattress, but that was probably one of the saddest, I would, I had this fear, like later on in life, I'm sure if my parents found it, they probably would've put a real magazine there feeling so yeah. bad, you know, like, <laughs> this is just pathetic, but. ASCII porn really does speak to the power of the human imagination, oh my God. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really does. does. This is when you kick in your uh, the door and your teenagers on some app or whatever, you're like, you know, when I was your age, <laughs> we had to use our imaginations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever ask a date to paint herself in bars of green and white? Yeah. <laughs> Thought. <laughs> <laughs> He's still thinking about it. Uh, what do you say we turn this over to the to the crowd? To the crowd. All right. So here's here's a little game crowd we like to play source. on our on our comedy show uh, Night Attack. We play a game called Don't Get Brody. It's storytelling uh, in in series. It's not like normal stories because normal stories you get to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Uh, this is more like bull riding. It's it's storytelling as a sport, right? Yeah. Absolutely. That's me handing that off to you. So the idea is that you are going to come up here should you want to be crowned the king or queen of the best of the worst of the internet, and you're going to tell your story, but the best possible version of it, understanding that the second that one of us on this panel gets bored with the story, you're done. <laughs> so we time everybody, and the person who gets the furthest along will be the winner Basically, of yeah, our show. Don't get too scared, though, because we're talking about people that could wait for ASCII porn for, like, 45 <laughs> minutes. So, like, you don't need to be, like, super worried that you're, like, standing up at the moth or anything like that. <laughs> All right, so, so uh, let, let's do this. we got a bit of room over here. If we could get folks to just sort of form a line, and then, and then we'll uh, have somebody... Uh, man, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah go there. find uh, uh, Bryce. Uh, there we go. C come back to Bryce. Uh, and, and, and don't worry if you get cut off. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll let you try again. And remember, if nobody else stands up and you're the only one, you win. Yeah. yeah. So literally, the, like, the first person, no matter how long you go... Yeah, you want, you want to promote the sticker packs? You are going to, uh, you are going to do it, yeah. And then, uh, uh, what? You'll get things. Yeah, everybody will get things. Who's got a, who's got a fucked up story of their early days of the internet? I know that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We got her. Come on up here. Give her a big round of applause. Give her a big round of applause. What's your What's your name? Diana. Diana, come on up here. Diana, uh, run, yeah, run, yeah, run, yeah. Run. Come on, come on over here. Uh, Hi, Diana. So my high school, I graduated. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, oh, on there wait, we go. Wait. We got to time this. We got to yeah. time this, right? Whoa. So, so uh, the bull's all charged up. You're ready to rock this story. Yeah, the judges have their thumbs out. Uh, will they say yes or no? And go. All right, go. So I'm in my high school reunion Facebook group. This is a few years ago. We're 10 years out of high school. And they were talking about how now there's cyberbullying. But cyberbullying was not a thing back in the early days of the internet. And I'm looking at the girl that said cyberbullying didn't exist in the early days of the internet. 
and her and some other girls conspired together to warn me off AIM. They got my AIM warning level up to 100%. It was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and they told, they were here, they were here 10 years later saying there was no cyberbullying. This is like the dude who's just like, uh, uh, murder doesn't exist. Uh, I forgot the <laughs> time I stabbed that dude to death and he's not breathing. <laughs> Uh, yes. Wow, that's pretty good. How long she last? Uh, there we go. Uh, that is forty-two seconds. Forty-two, 42 seconds. seconds. Okay. Thank you, the Diana. The seconds of life, the universe, New and champion. Uh, all right. So before we pick, uh, th there's no way we're going to cut off somebody talking about cyberbullying. No. You know, yeah. Was say. That was a very, very interesting pro strat, Diana. Yeah. That was uh, that was that was great. All right. So there we go. But that is, I, I think she actually brings up a really good point because in the early days of the internet, fucking, um, uh, uh, there was no cyber. I think, I think you're right. There was no cyberbullying because nobody thought it was real. It was just like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna say whatever. I have no reputation. No, uh, the internet is all fake. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. I mean, that doesn't make cyberbullying not real, no, Brian. No, it just means people no weren't aware they were doing it. Yeah, no, exactly. yeah, it was yeah. just uh, being shitty. Well, that was, and that was the yeah. point. Remember when? Everybody was anonymous online because you didn't know anybody. And then you post Facebook, all that. No, you got to use your real ID. And that kind of made things sort of worse because it's like, I don't know who Mr. Funk Zero Two is. He's yeah. an asshole, <laughs> but I'll never meet him, so I don't know. But then I find, oh, it's Justin. And then it's a different, yeah. now it means something. Are, are you at all worried about like some like deep researching AI finding Mr. Funk O2 past uh, posts? No, I, the other thing that I was going to bring up here was that I did write a early like like a GeoCities site with my cousin that does what theoretically exist somewhere was this a was this a cool guy humor site it was not a well actually yes it was yeah. a cool guy humor <laughs> site yeah it was it was, it was it was i was telling all spinning all the sweet jokes yeah uh, how old are you at this point I had to be that. Uh, that was teenage years. That was like uh, uh, 13, 14, something Ooh, like that. Ooh, so right you, had a, you had a cynical worldview, and oh, you had to yeah. share it with that with everybody else. Geocities.com slash Soho slash Loft. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Jesus, I, I can't. I can't remember the URL because it was his site, and then I started writing on it too. But it was called. The land of wind and ghosts. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Before you, before you tell us, Tom, Andrew, Anthony, what do you think the land of wind and ghosts is a reference to? I don't know. Like, it, it is a reference. Okay, because I'm thinking like uh, uh, farts. <laughs> farts. New Mexico. Uh <laughs> The town of Farts, New Mexico. <laughs> good answers. Good answers. Yeah, I'm going to go Brian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is a literal line-for-line line reference. Does anybody know this off the, off the top of their head? It is a line-for-line line reference of uh, the translation of Mr. Sparkle, the detergent from oh, The Simpsons. Shit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that it, that it, banishes, it banishes dirt and grime to, to the, the land, land of, of wind, wind and ghosts. ghosts. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's very good, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> told you. Actually yeah. Told good. you. Right? right? That's cool guy humor. <laughs> almost <laughs> had that one. <laughs> <laughs> if Brian hadn't said farts, you would have yeah, had yeah, totally yeah, yeah. uh, it. I was going to say my second one was going to be song lyric. Yeah. Song yeah. lyric. Everybody had like an early internet journal that was like song lyric as title. I remember that, that song. I'm in the land of wind, wind and ghosts. It's like a Zeppelin tribute Come on, band. Everybody. Sing quite along. Figure, uh, Eggs and, and then toes. a saxophone solo. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember uh, uh, that was one of my favorite AIM uh, away message things to do. And this is when I was in college was to just make up song lyrics God. for fake bands and then hope that people commented on it. <laughs> oh, I love that album. Yeah, no, in fact, there was one time I was in a, a sketch comedy group where there was this one dude who was a total music snob and everybody didn't like him. And so we just decided we were going to gaslight him uh, to believe that we were all into this band I, that, I, he, that I didn't I exist. Deeply it was, adore how quickly we went from a warning against cyberbullying <laughs> to actual <laughs> bullying to, to straight up cyberbullying. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm not proud of it. I'm just telling you <laughs> that we all just started slowly seeding in, like, oh, thanks for giving me that Distillery Factory album. That was great. <laughs> uh, and then eventually he asked about it, and that was it. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm a very bad person. I like eventually asked about it, and we're like, "No, nah, you didn't continue on." You yeah. just sort of the fucking nah, pressure. The fucking pressure of coming up with like a super clever aim away message. No yeah. one will ever know. No aim one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> the youth will never understand. All right, this sounds like you've like got some Like 10 different away hits. messages like ready to go. I don't remember what any of them were. I just remember a 
agonizing over them. Like it had to be a movie quote or yes. a song lyric or like a really hilarious observation that was like unique enough to you that people would be like, oh, that is so Mr. Funko too. Yeah. But like <laughs> had to be accessible what? enough that people got it and were like, ah. Like it was like a graduation quote, you yeah. know? Absolutely. Was, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no. It was that or then then I remember like also stupid uh like like bar like you know, uh, uh, poetry or something like that. Like, just like uh, quotes and songs and like poems about drinking. Were Shit also you overheard very your uncle say or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or just, I mean, whatever, like famousquote.com or something, whatever uh, right, proto who, version of that. Who else has an interesting story from the early days of the internet? Right over here. Come on there up. We right, go. There we go. Come on up. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> What's your name, boss? My name is Brendan. 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 All right, let's get Brandon yeah. to my Come on, come on go. over here. Brandon right, making yeah, his way to the set stage. Set the timer, set the timer. Oh, 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 oh wait, shit. hold on. Fucking like a boss. Oh, God damn. now there's a fucking power that move. That seat is for Elijah the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> so now How we, dare you? All right, here we go. Here we the, go. The, the, the uh, time to beat right now is 42 seconds. Uh, 42 seconds, all right? So here we go. I'm resetting, and three, two, one. I'm going to tell you uh, about the time I memorized a Wikipedia article, okay? The Wikipedia article is as follows. It's called Cactus Plugging. Cactus Plugging. Uh, done. Oh. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> wait, wait, does that count a fear of interest? No, you, no. Can't, you can't vote it down because you're on the edge of your seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact opposite wait, of what you're supposed to do. Wait, wait until we get to, to the rest of this. <laughs> Go for it. Wait, all right, all right so, so you, you he's at 11. Does he get another shot, audience? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Overruled, Andrew. Here we go from 11 seconds. Cactus plugging, go. I thanks my lovely audience. Um, cactus plugging. Cactus plugging is the practice of vandalizing or destroying a saguaro, a cactus, usually a saguaro, for fun. <laughs> the extension office at the University of Arkansas calls Oh. oh, but if you're just gonna read it, yeah. no. Yeah. No. I thought you had. I thought you were gonna like maybe summarize it and then go into an interesting story about it. But you were gonna read the whole thing. Shit, he got Brody. Oh, oh, one more, one more round yeah. of applause. That was a, it was a respectable. It was a respectable strategy to try to run the clock up. He was I tried filibustering. To you. I tried to he was you. filibustering. <laughs> I didn't appreciate it. Should have started off. He's like, so I'm looking at a cactus with a pair of tits this big. <laughs> And I think I want to vandalize that cactus. <laughs> well, I mean, cactus plugging just doesn't sound like it's going to go to a good Yeah, I thought he was going to zig, and then it just <laughs> totally zagged. Yeah. yeah. Alt.cactus.plugging. So <laughs> true, cactus plugging. <laughs> All right, who else got has a story? Early like, days quick, of the Do you internet. have you like, the got? whole thing literally memorized? Uh, yeah, in 1982, David Grunman was killed while cactus plugging. Now, David see, lead with the Grunman right. murder. Okay. All right, all right. So I think we've all learned. We, have, we do have a lot of new people here. This game normally digs a little bit for the, for the momentum to kind of kick in. You are a martyr that has taught everybody a very valuable lesson. <laughs> Start with the murder. Yes. <laughs> All right, who else, uh, uh, fucking, uh, who else has the story? All right, we got there one we right go. here. All right, here we come go. on what's, up. What's Let's give him a big round of applause. Sean, come on up here, Sean. Red Sox and NASA. All right, Sean. Uh, uh, we're setting the clock. Dude, uh, get brody and go all right this is a story how my dad caught me masturbating oh <laughs> uh, there we yeah. go so you guys had ASCII. i had that one cheap file with the crazy japanese artwork with the purple shoulder pads that stuck out way too far and the weird eyeliner and I found this, oh, like, yeah. hidden away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that one. But, you know by, that the way, one. Yeah. by the way, by the so way, by the way, for, 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 for the audio <laughs> listeners, Carboni just made a face like an old friend, like, <laughs> walked in the room. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody who was completely out of your mind entirely, and then you see them at the high school reunion, and yeah. you're like, oh, you're like yeah, a good time. You look great. What? <laughs> was this like like 16th century woodblock stuff or something? <laughs> or? No, it looked almost like a Pioneer yeah. Laserdisc ad, but it was porn. Exactly. If that makes any sense. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and I just discovered this file. I'm like, okay, plug it in, go into my ADS drive, and find it, and I'm like, okay, what the hell is this? Take a look and go through a couple of pictures. All right, that's not bad, that's not bad. Boom, come across boobs. And I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> what? Didn't know what to do with it. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. Dad's not home. Uh, like, nobody else is around the house. 
Brothers are gone. Coast is clear. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm ghosts. about 13. Oh, so prime I'm, time, prime time. Go on. Yeah. So I go grab my lotion. I'm just ready to go get everything <laughs> primed. <laughs> and I start Family going. Show. Family <laughs> show. <laughs> we, we know how it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you so, think the story is about one thing, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> so I taught some Rush on my headphones. <laughs> what? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> which album? Which album? Which, which album, 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 boys? <laughs> 21 Tom. Right. Tom's my real mean, mean guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, it was 2112. Yeah, what? <laughs> so, I blasted and I turned on really high. Nobody's supposed to be able to throw for the, the next bones. Which would hours. Is this the normal ritual for you? <laughs> or was this a special now, occasion? Wait. How, okay, let's assume everything is going well. How does the story end? Five minutes into it. I didn't notice my door open up behind me. Oh. I'm staring straight ahead. Damn you, Getty Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this tap on the back of my shoulder. Oh! <laughs> I jumped so sky high, slammed myself against my desk, <laughs> fell on the floor. Stared up, my dad looked at me and he goes, if you keep doing that, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Get him out. That, that is a round song. of applause. Three minutes, 16 and seconds. And by the way, yeah, that's 316. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Uh, 316 to Kuma. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is get us talking. Yeah. yeah. There were can things I, I, I needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I'm worried about. Watch on the headphones! God. Neil That's Peart was a very interesting drummer, I guess. <laughs> like, keep that beat. Something? Can I tell you something? I have, I have never, never, because of that exact moment, because of that fear, never masturbated with headphones on. Oh, Will not yeah. do it. I uh -uh. am too terrified. No. I am too, even when I had roommates, I'm like, I'll just ride the volume like I'm a radio engineer. <laughs> Like, I am just terrified of, like, going into the cone of silence yeah. when that's to going on. To this day, that is the problem with uh, VR porn. Because it's just like... Never going to happen! <laughs> Never going to happen! <laughs> there's Go an entire, on! <laughs> there's I mean, an entire genre of YouTube video that's just people scaring people in VR. That's it. And I'm just watching that, and I'm going, yeah, VR porn, okay. <laughs> I'm going to open myself up to that. You think it's a screamer? <laughs> like halfway through, it's suddenly the exorcist phase? Because by the no, way... No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's, like just it's, it's a genre with, yeah. of people like will be in playing a game in VR and other people will like push ah! them or, like, yeah. thro or throw something at them or whatever. Yeah. Just to, and I'm watching that and I'm just like, no, no, no. The, wor the real world can yeah. come in. You don't want to at come any in. moment. Any moment. Yeah. That, so now we know augmented reality will win the porn war. Because <laughs> <laughs> by the way, there are a few things visually more pitiful than the idea of a young boy with his pants around his ankles with a, a fresh bruise on his upper thigh because he just like high jumped into his desk uh, looking yeah. up at his father. But the one thing that might be worse is you in a VR headset <laughs> just in full... <laughs> in okay, yeah, look, uh, there's a low-grade constant awareness of how many bogeys are in the house at any given time. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And fucking, that would be too traumatic. Here's the part that concerns me. Um, if I walked in and saw an adolescent uh, uh, child of mine uh, in, in the ma uh, in business of self-exploration, um, the thought in my mind would not be, <laughs> yeah. how do I involve myself in this story? <laughs> Yeah. It would it would be that Grandpa Simpson gif where he just like walks in, puts his hat down, uh, puts his hat away. back on, and walks right back out. <laughs> but like as as the as the parent there, you're just like your dad was probably standing there for a little while, just try, trying to figure out the strat, <laughs> just trying to figure out the strat, because like 
you don't want to you don't want to startle. Startling is like I think the worst thing, right? So, so instead, he decides to startle, but also Sean takes the time yeah. to no. write a one-liner for when he inadvertently <laughs> startles his kid. Well, I think what's great about it is it wasn't it wasn't meant to be a one-liner, but it had a double meaning because of the unintended injury. I yeah. think if you keep doing that, you're going to hurt yourself. Is just a thing that that you say, and then it turns out that your kid actually hurt himself, yeah. and then all of a sudden you're the funny and dad. You but you didn't it, mean yeah. to be. Yeah, you no. didn't mean to be. That makes sense. Uh, I think right. it was equally mortifying for both parties, and it was just like. Uh, uh, all right, it looks like we have one here in the back. Come on up. Come on up. up. Yeah, What's your name, buddy? Bio-cal. Yo, full regalia. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What's your name? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the illustrious Bio-cal. Oh, no uh, way! Our, How's it going? One of our longest running... Uh, <laughs> Diamond Club fans. Yes. You really can meet people He's on the He's real. He is. I exist. I'm real, real as rain. All right. Uh, all right, BioCow. Now listen, yep. you are a veteran, I am. so you, you you know how this works. Yes. That is a very 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 impressive three minute and sixteen second record. Is, Do you feel very... confident that you can beat it? I, it's gonna be tough. I, I'm not looking forward to losing again. Last time I lost to Garrett Weinzerl. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, I remember that. Have you yeah. bounced back? Uh, I'm hoping so. Well, we'll see how I do. All right, I, here I, we go. I, I got at least a couple of minutes. Maybe not 360. Brian but. keeps going over making side deals before yeah. every story <laughs> here. I don't have a fucking microphone, so whatever. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, BioGo, here we go. It begins now. All right, I want to tell you about my first experience with the porn site, which was actually designing one. Oh. So, <laughs> back in 2000, I was a member on a web forum, and I got messaging with this guy. He actually put out a thing. He said, I run a website, but um, the login page kind of sucks, and so I need it redesigned. So I contacted him, and I said, hey, I can design a new login page. That's no big deal. He starts saying, well, it's a porn site, which is kind of weird. So uh, he sends me the link, and it's this crappy page with just a couple of login boxes. It was really sad. And I'm like, okay, well, what kind of porn is it? He's like, why don't I send you a login? Oh. Uh, so like, oh, that's smooth negotiation on your part. This is, this is interesting. So I log into the site. I wasn't sure what I was seeing. Now, I mean, I, I've seen Playboys and things like that. I've seen uh-huh. pet house site. But I've never seen a porn site. And I've never seen one like this. Um, I've Fuck, you better hurry up. Do tell. Do tell. I contacted him. I said, what is going on here? He said, well, the best kind of porn is niche porn. So you can't just put naked ladies on the internet. You need to have them doing something interesting and weird. So it's, Fuck it's, it, it's, go! It's, 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 it's swallow porn. So there was videos of Fuck women. Porn with like, birds? No. <laughs> it's women. migratory porn. Exactly. So, so the first Watch video, these go south the to Capistrano. <laughs> From the land of wind. All right. No. <laughs> so the first video that I saw was a woman standing in a field, and she had a goldfish in a bag. Okay, all right. Finally. <laughs> finally we get somewhere. And she pulled the goldfish out and swallowed it. Yeah. This, uh, this is like the, like the quicksand fetish thing, right? And like, then she threw it back up. Oh. What does she look like? Is she fully clothed? Yeah, like swallowing she was fish? fully clothed. It was the porn part? That was it. <laughs> it, was, it was fish. It was marbles. It was all kinds of weird things. Women Keep going. Sorry, sorry. Things. Fish, marbles. Go on. Mar- yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish, marbles. No, no, hold on. And what was it called? I mean, just for laughs. Like... <laughs> It was just the oddest thing. And I was like, how is, I don't understand. All right, punch it, punch All it, right, punch it. You're it. out. There we go. Two minutes, 21 seconds for BioCow. Uh, Justin, uh, do you remember your early experience inadvertently running a porn site? <laughs> yes. I tricks. Oh, so, my God. <laughs> this just turned into an interrogation. Well, it was really no, weird. So, <laughs> so we, we first... <laughs> Do I mean, you recall, sir? <laughs> it's we we first started working together years ago. I've known him since he was like 15 years old, and this then he, is not a good introduction. Okay. Uh, no, it, it doesn't get better. It doesn't. No, <laughs> he, he gets he gets out of he gets out of college. And he's, <laughs> fast forward, we'll skip. You know, me asking a 15 year old Justin to go see John Waters films and stuff, and us sitting in the middle of a <laughs> theater surrounded. 
Not helping. Uh, 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 there weren't many places to see independent yeah, movies. You know, and so, so anyhow, he, we I, we talked years later. I say, hey, you want to come work with me? Because I was getting in TV and stuff like this. And I always thought he's super talented. It's great. And I said, I have this idea. We'd be kind of cool. Like we should get involved with the internet, and we could do like a magic news site. We mm-hmm. do cover magic news, which we did. And so I got a domain. I got a domain, which you know, iTrix, right? Which iTrix. Oh iTricks, dear internet, God! I just tricks. Yeah, you know, iPhone was just you know like we just no iPhone out. even. It was yeah. iMac, you know. So I'm like itrix.com this was very this was very of the era it was very modern Mm. it was it was certainly the name uh to have i never did a name search to (laughs) see what had been used for before so anyhow we print up t-shirts that say itrix.com justin wears them i don't wear them and so justin's wearing itrix.com t-shirts uh-huh Flying around the country a little so bit. So we go, we're, we're, we're at a magic convention in Las Vegas, and we're coming back, and one of the TSA guys looks at me, and at this point I'm 20-something years old, fresh-faced, uh, young lad. Otter. Yeah, so. Otter. Yeah. And uh, he, just, he just looks me in the, he like, looks me, looks me in the eyes and then looks at my shirt, and he's like, oh, my God. You read iTrix? <laughs> you go on iTrix? And I'm like, very proud because <laughs> this is a labor of, 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 of love. We've we built this community. We had just gone and like interacted with all these largest people. daily magic, largest blog in the daily world. magic okay. blog in the world. And, and first of all, congrats. Yeah, Thank you. you uh, Only daily magic. blog. <laughs> and so I, I get I get real proud of myself and I look him in the face and I say, not only do I read it, I run it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, like a couple of fucking hair club for men members exactly. at an airport. Yeah. And so he looks at me and he's like, oh, <laughs> wow, that's very impressive. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, really cool. And I'm like, like, oh, are you into magic? And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what you call it? <laughs> and so it's TSA. Is Between a, two people that love each other, Tom, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I do call it magic. Yeah. This is the TSA? This yeah. is that TSA at yeah. McCarran Airport in Las Vegas. And so there's not really a lot of time to continue this conversation <laughs> past that. So we filter past and I'm like, you know, I just had the weirdest conversation <laughs> where somebody seemed to really like the site and but didn't know what it was about. And so we looked up... <laughs> That there was another iTrix. We had the better domain, but wait, what? What, what is theirs? It was an uh, science adult. I believe it was a gay dating. It site. was a grinder before grinder. It was grinder oh, before grinder. Huh. And they and they at one point they'd add iTrix.com and they let it lapse. And I'm like, I'm gonna buy this domain. Magic. <laughs> right? Hey, Justin, wear the shirt. <laughs> but for one second, I was like the Zuckerberg of gay dating. Like I was, I, I, I was, I was the wonder kid to this TSA agent. Then do you like magic? I'm like, huh. that's amazing. <laughs> that's magic, amazing. Justin. All right, who else has a story? I think we got a few more minutes here. Who else has? Yeah, a story? we have we have Hands room for maybe air. one or two more. All right, can we talk about why I got a VGA card uh, in seventh grade? Yes. <sighs> This is my Finally. Internet, this is my internet white rabbit. Uh, uh, white uh, rabbit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thing you chase, the thing mm. that you half remember and, and you can never find again, right? Because it's like in the days, in the day, uh, there, weren't, there weren't video players on your 286 computer, right? And, and, and gotcha. uh, okay. instead there were executable Not files. Not your white whale, your white rabbit. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah you no. chase a white rabbit. Right, no, I get it now. Oh, okay. I'm slow, like a VGA <laughs> card. Okay. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was the, uh, so. So you had you had CGA, which was four colors. You had EGA, which was uh, sixteen colors. And then you had VGA, two hundred fifty-six colors, largely used at once for grayscale. Uh, and and there there was there was this fucking executable that uh, that was almost like a movie. It would come in with this like this cartoony font, and it would be like and it and it was called Bunny's Afternoon Delights. And uh, it seriously, was your white rabbit? I get it. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And and so and so this is I've never uh, I. I don't want to download a random executable called Bunny's Afternoon Delight uh, in the 21st century, right? It's, uh, but uh, uh, it was it was like a, bl- a blue fucking background, a cartoony font. It was they were like Bunny came home from work, and it would do, and it would be like uh, now we would think of it like an animated GIF, like it would be her walking in repeatedly through a door or whatever. It'd be like, oh, now she's taking off her clothes, and then you know just almost taking off the top, and then just the same looping animation 75 fucking times, uh, which apparently was enough. But uh, but but apparently nobody uh, nobody's heard of this, right? Okay, all right, yeah, someday. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> this, what? Is what, this is what happens when you get wet. 
<laughs> yeah, there well, we go. Uh, I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you a story about uh, when I was working at uh, Toys R Us. It's probably your Rest 2000, peace, 2001 rip. Yeah. R.I.P. Uh, Poor one out for I want to tell you ones. about a guy that I worked with at Toys R Us uh, called Homeless Chet. And what? before you think that we were like really insensitive teenagers that were like, you know, being dicks to this guy, we called him Homeless Chet. It was a f- harmless nickname that we called him because he was literally homeless. So I hope that we cleared that <laughs> up. Um, so Homeless <laughs> Chet worked in the bike department and uh, he was a couple years older than us. He, I think he, w- he, big deal was Homeless Chet was 21. Homeless Chet could buy alcohol. <laughs> gotcha. Marked for life. Mark, yeah. yeah. So Homeless Chet, the deal was uh, he This is had, about the internet, right? This is about the internet. Okay. He had run away from home. Yeah. And uh, he worked at this Toys R Us in Orlando. None of us really knew where he came from. He didn't want to talk about it. But he would need to, like, <laughs> he would need to crash with people, right? Uh, never let Homeless Chet crash at my place. But he did crash at, like, a bunch of my friends' places from the store. And the deal with Homeless Chet is he would show up to your place with two duffel bags. One duffel bag was everything that you would consider to be like a, a, a runaway's earthly possessions. It was his clothing and toiletries and things like that. The other duffel bag was a full-size computer tower. Because <laughs> no one could afford a laptop at that point. <laughs> and a really tiny flat screen VGA monitor. Wow. And homeless Chet would set up in your house for like a week. He'd want to stay for like a week. And uh, go on a site called makeoutclub.com. <laughs> Anybody, was anybody on makeoutclub.com? What's, Bef- the, what's the first You're rule among friends. It's fine. Make up, make first out rule club. of makeout club is everybody's going to make out. Woo! <laughs> and the second rule is woo woo! <laughs> um, no, makeout club was like proto social network, proto dating site. Like there was no, you couldn't look up anything on makeout club. You couldn't search anything on makeout club. But what you could do is you could have a little paragraph and a picture on Makeout Club, and you can select uh, guys or girls and just go through them and like email people that were on Makeout Club that looked interesting. And Chet was, like the big deal about Makeout Club is because the site wasn't dynamic, if you got on Makeout Club early and you were like first page of guys or first page of girls, you were gonna make out. (laughs) Ain't no one got time to scroll through. I was on page like 86 of Makeout Club. (laughs) It wasn't going to happen for me. But but Homeless Jet was an early settler. Homeless Jet was top 10 in Makeout Club. (laughs) He's the Homeless Jet shows up to your house, (laughs) goes on your modem after like, uh, you know, when when no one else is uh, is on the phone or if you have broadband, he's got an ethernet card. Like he's got it. Um... (laughs) He goes on and he just like goes out and he'd be like, whoever he was staying with and like a few of us, he'd be like, hey, I'm going out to meet some girls that I met on Makeout Club. Do you want to come out? And we'd just be like, yeah. And that was when I learned that you could use the internet to meet real people. And like, if you could get on the internet early, maybe you could meet all the real people. (laughs) Because Homeless Jet was cleaning up. And by the time I went to sign up, I was on page 86 and I was just like, fuck. And Chet was like, yeah, it's never going to happen, bro. It's never going to happen for you. And, you know, I think he was, he was kind of like, he knew that when you first met him, you kind of looked down on him a little bit, like, and you thought he was weird, and you thought he was strange, and you didn't really want to talk to him. But then, like, once you knew, he was like the fucking king of makeout club. <laughs> and all of a sudden, everybody respected the hell out of Homeless <laughs> Chet. Also because he could assemble a kid's BMX bike in, like, five minutes. He got an employee of the month, I, like, almost every month. I want to believe that every single person who hosted Homeless Chet had him walk in like a fucking boss, and he's just... A I D A. Attention. Do I have your attention? <laughs> I hope I do. <laughs> Fuck it. It's Glenn Glen Ross. Fuck you guys. All right. <laughs> uh, that was the film and not the theatrical version, Brian. Yeah. Wow, man. Homeless Chet, right? Homeless Chet. And that man now is the president of the United, United States. States. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so if there are no other stories, shit, man, I think I think we're almost. Uh, I think we gotta wrap up. Oh wait, hold on. Oh wait, there, was there a story? Do we have we a story? We a story. A All right, here we, we go. knew there was one. Come on man. over. We knew it. Dude raised his hand in a way that was like, I'm equally cool whether they see me raise my hand or not. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. What's your name, bud? Basam. 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 Big round of applause for Basam. Yeah, I almost didn't want to come up here because it's. Uh, yeah, you get it's on. Yeah, you just have to. Hand. You have to talk so into really it. So this shows like I was really a degenerate in when I was a teenager. 
So, so wait a minute, hold okay. on. It was only when homeless Chet got mentioned that you're like, all right, now, like, now it's on I'm my level. I'm with my people. I'm like <laughs> with my people. Uh, I feel good. All right, so here we go. Okay. 316 is the uh, is, is, is the time to beat, but uh, you want to be able to finish it. on your own power. We begin in three, two, one. So this is important for the story. I live in Saudi Arabia. I've been going back and forth my whole life. I've called on your show a few times. Yes. Yes. And uh, so, 90s. I was here in the 90s. I was 14. I was on Prodigy, if anyone remembers that service. I still remember my, my code. So, and I was... What was your code? My, uh, corn, uh, code, I'm not going to say. Cause <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost got it. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> so here I am, 14, looking for porn on the internet before sure. it was cool to do uh, on Prodigy. <laughs> All right. <Well>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, back then it was He's sitting groups. there, you see his pants around his ankles, like, this is so uncool. <laughs> yeah, because by the way, like, he was Look, jacking dick to semicolon, <laughs> so like... <laughs> <laughs> I was looking, Just. I was looking, okay, all right? And, like, we had a living room computer, too, so that's another story. I, too, like to live dangerously. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. Uh, so in that back then, you wanted a picture. It took 10 minutes to download. It yeah. was on news groups. It had it came in pieces. You had to assemble it and everything. So I was just like, I was preparing to go back. I went to school in Saudi Arabia. I was here for the summer vacation. I didn't have time to be selective. I just whatever I could find, I downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> I downloaded whatever. Beggars could can't be choosers. Exactly. You know, and there's a file name. It's all numbers and, and characters and whatever. Fine. Get it. Get it. Get it. So, <laughs> And I just sort of collected on my three and a half inch floppies. Oh, yeah. Yes. Gotcha. So, oh, so right, you, you, were you judging by file size? Like, 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 <laughs> or, no, like, man, like this will fit on the Whatever, 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 all of it. It's in. Whatever. Yeah. Just take it, just take it. Like, I like, not be selective. like sure. Noah so. with his ark. Please. <laughs> he didn't, yeah. He did not min max this in any way. It was like if a file came up, he grabbed it. <laughs> That's, right. That's right, whatever it was. And like on those discs, you only fit like about 10 JPEGs or JPEGs, or what JPEGs they were. And so I got mostly normal things. Did I tell you the? the oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You got normal. mostly normal. Yes, I haven't told you the title of the story, have I? Wait, no, the please. Title of the story is Go. Smartly buried it's the lead. How I broke my cousin with bestiality. <laughs> Let's hear. That was night attack, everybody. Come on, come on. You got a good shot at fucking walking away with this. You can do this. You got this. Don't fuck it up. All right, now that I have your attention, <laughs> I'm reviewing what I downloaded. Download first, check Download it later. First. Most of it, vanilla porn. <laughs> as, as do. Which vanilla is what we, what we called Photoshop porn of oh. vanilla ice. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that one picture where it's loading, it's coming up. All right, what do you, what do gonna, you see at I'm the beginning? Gonna, like, I don't know how, this is it, 21 and over, right? So, yeah. just go! Gonna, okay, no. <laughs> lady on her back, very tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow sure. I don't think it will end that way. <laughs> <laughs> I was just admiring the lighting and composition. <laughs> she, she had a nice little teddy on. Sure. And then there was a Doberman. Oh! oh. Your howl? How old? I'm 14. Okay. And how and old's your cousin? There we go. My cousin's 10. <laughs> oh! Tom has punched out. However, oh. to be fair, that was most that was not because of the quality of her story. Tom looked into the abyss and flinched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, I do have very exciting news because at 3 minutes 31 seconds we have a new champion! I'm not proud of this. And by the way, that's like 15 minutes in dog years. <laughs> uh, all right, One more big round of applause. Uh, head on out. Remember, this episode was sponsored by Gerald's Game on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald's Game. I haven't read it, what I miss. Uh, I'll tell you after. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. I feel like there's no way we're gonna follow the. No, the, no, like, <laughs> no. We can't. We 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 we, the, we can't win it. I mean, I feel. I feel like. What did we learn today? Uh, well, uh, uh, more the internet than I, one, internet 1.0, just porn apparently. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, so nothing has changed. Just porn. Just 
that there's not an invention that man can make that he doesn't immediately want to fuck. I learned that when it comes to jacking into semicolons, I'm not alone. Uh, I learned that I'm still waiting for the funk team to assemble. Uh, oh, shit, man. Hey, thank you guys so much for coming out. Los Angeles, you guys are yeah. fucking fantastic. Hey, by the way, real talk, uh, this is a big kind of uh, uh, chance for us to take, um, and you guys totally rewarded us by coming out here and sharing your stories. So give yourselves a gigantic round of applause yeah. right now. Yeah. I want to go ahead and thank Anthony Carboni for coming out tonight. I want to thank Andrew Maine for coming out tonight. I want to thank Tom Merritt for coming out tonight. That's Brian Brushwood. I'm Justin Robert Young. See you next Tuesday. Fire the fire, beautiful people. Love you. You guys want to hang out? I'm going to be at Britannia Bar, ignoring all of you playing Hearthstone. <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>